gone. This is so exciting. The best secret formula. Oh, I like it. What is up, my badass angels? Welcome, bienvenue, bienvenuti, bienvenidos. Welcome to our little bubble in the internet where we play around with new hair care for the very first time on camera and then we decide together what works and what doesn't. So in a nutshell, I purchase tons of new hair gear every single week that I basically don't need and test it out so that you don't have to. If that sounds like something worth your time, please consider subscribing and of course stick around. As you can probably guess by the title of this video, today is the turn of... Oplex Traveling Stylist Kit, which is basically the travel size mini bottles of Oplex number one and number two. The stronger, more concentrated versions are the professional products. I have tested out every single one of Oplex products. Oplex number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm going to be linking that entire playlist of my Oplex journey right here in the eye at the corner. So I guess technically it's not the first time I've tried Oplex 1 and 2, but it is the first time I'm going to be doing the standalone treatment on myself, by myself, and at home. Given the current circumstances in the world and the fact that most salons have been closed right now, I thought this might interest many of you. Now that said, I have a couple of very quick disclaimers. Number one, there is no doubt that the expertise of a professional can always give you best results. Absolutely 100% no question about that. Now that said, there are plenty of countries in the world, including where I live, where basically you don't have salons offering Oplex treatments where you are able to get professional products uh, without being a licensed hairdresser and even in my country hairdressers and hairstylists do not require to be licensed at all just wanted to share that with you so that you know where I'm coming from my context if you live in Europe or the US or Canada that tends to be very very different and I am aware of that so the absolute best use of these is of course in the salon when you're getting your hair highlighted or if you are able to highlight your hair at home then having this kit to do it yourself uh, it's also super valuable because yes Oplex does revert some of the damage caused by bleaching and coloring and any chemical processes or heat but the damage that has already caused severe breakage in your hair I mean it cannot regenerate that my salon just doesn't work with Oplex and it's not very well accepted that you will bring this products in. I've had baby lights and balayage done. What's broken is broken. The hair that was left in the brush or the sink, it's just gone. So before we go straight into the application, we take a look at the before, especially the top layer. So when we open the kit, this tiny bottle of Oplex number one, this is 100 mils, 3.3 fluid ounces of product. This is a liquid formula and it comes with this kind of attachment. And then we get two number twos with the same amount of product, but these are creamy formulations. All right, so let's move on to the application. Like I said, I am going to follow the step by step. Hey guys, this is Heidi from the future. So I just had to interrupt because apparently I made a very big mistake using a spray bottle to apply Oilplex number one. It has to be a non-spraying bottle because apparently a spray bottle makes you inhale Oilplex number one, which is not good for your lungs, may make you cough. Indeed, I experienced that throughout this video. I'm actually deeply concerned now because this is supposed to be a non-toxic type of product, but I guess this is why you leave it on professional hands. That said, the rest of the video is fine and so is my health, so just wanted to put this very quick disclaimer so that nobody does something as dumb as I did. It contains 90 mils or three fluid ounces of warm water and I'm going to add 15 mils or 0.5 fluid ounces of Oplex number one. So I basically want to open this because it's sealed and I'm going to attach this 
thing is gonna help us measure those 15 mils. This is supposed to be filled up. So we're basically going to be squeezing until it gets at the top. Ooh, this is so exciting. <gasps> no, that was like $10 lost. Should you do it on your dry hair? Well, like I said, if you watched that video, the Olplex expert himself did it to my hair just dry. So I'm guessing he knows what he's doing. Now that said, if you know you have like some residue of maybe a living cream, some hair oil, anything that could act as a barrier between your treatment and your hair fiber, use a clarifying shampoo before you start applying. I think that would make absolute sense. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the Oplex expert also told me that it was safe to apply without any gloves or anything, so it's not supposed to do anything bad to your skin. Well, hopefully he's right because we're already doing it. Hi. Yes. I am so sorry to keep interrupting you guys. So this is about the time I started to realize that I was coughing a little bit and that I felt my throat was a little bit irritated. So again, please don't use a spray bottle. Keep watching. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe we can do a second video with me using this exact kit, but to highlight my hair at home. Yeah, and while you're at it, please using the correct bottle that is non-spraying. Just enough to keep my face framed and illuminated. I kind of feel more confident to do it with this kit since I'm not a professional and this is supposed to be some kind of insurance for your hair when it comes to bleed. Well, obviously you're not a professional. A professional would have known not to use a spray bottle. Each All right, so now I'm going to set the timer to 10 minutes, which is the recommended leaving time for Oplex number one, at least in the standalone treatment. So Oplex is going to be some kind of a secret formula due to this patent for a few years. And nobody really knows for sure what is in it. And kind of everyone wants to know, everyone wants to copy them, works on all hair types, all of them. And it also says that it is silicone free, sulfate free, phthalate free, DEA free, aldehyde free, and I guess they are cruelty free as well because it says here that Olplex is against animal testing. I wanted to show you guys kind of how much were those 15 mils, seven, eight. I feel that maybe you can get 10 standalone treatments from this little bottle right here. As reference, it is the exact same bottle as an Olplex number three, which you may be more familiar with, or the Olplex number six bond smoother. So for the next step, I am going to be clipping my hair up with these Sephora Hold It Together clips. Yep. And this is going to allow me to really work in sections. Enchanté. I'm going to get a lot of questions about this, but just in case you missed it, I did apply Olaplex number two on top of Olaplex number one. So Olaplex number one is not rinsed out. Now I'm going to set the timer to 30 minutes, which is the leaving time for Olaplex number two. Kind of made me cough there for a bit. It smells very chemical. It's not like a nice, beautiful fragrance or anything like that. And just as a reference, I personally think it is more bearable than when you're having your hair bleached, where you have like a much stronger smell. Time to rinse this off. First, I'm gonna rinse this off with water and then I'm gonna shampoo using Olplex number four bond maintenance shampoo followed by Olplex number five bond maintenance conditioner. I am pretty sure that in future applications, I am going to probably replace the Olplex number five 
conditioner with some deep conditioned hair masks. But I really wanted to make this video Olplex only, if that makes sense, so that the results of the hair mask and the Olplex treatment did not kind of get mixed up and that we could really differentiate things. And yes, you are supposed to shampoo Olplex 1 and 2 off your hair. And yes, you are supposed to condition afterwards because Olplex 1 and 2 and Olplex number 3 as well, they are not conditioners. They're not going to do anything to hydrate your hair. They're not supposed to do anything cosmetic to your hair. So they're not working. They're not strictly working on the appearance kind of the cosmetic aspect of your hair that is more the zone where all your hair masks and dip conditioning treatments live it works more on the inside now that said i am expecting as a consequence of much healthier hair that its appearance is also going to improve so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that i can't wait to see the results all right so I'm back. That was actually super easy. None of these products have a very rich kind of oily um, formulation, which would typically make things a little bit harder to rinse. And yeah, that's definitely not the case. And in spite of not having that, they did quite an okay job. I mean, I do have some tangles, but it's not too bad considering it is a conditioner and not a deep conditioning hair mask. Like I said, if this was not a travel kit demo, I would probably just go ahead and use um, some of my favorite hair masks just to really give my hair a full makeover. And if you guys are interested, I may do that in an upcoming video. Wow. Can you guys see the top layer just it doesn't look fragile anymore. Just when I thought that Olplex could no longer surprise me, possibly because I just had one standalone treatment like two years ago, I had completely underestimated the power of actually having these two combined. Because number two, I have been using. If I had to summarize what has wowed me about this standalone treatment that I just was able to do at home by myself is that it has provided me added strength. Do you guys see my brush? Like it like it barely has two or three hairs on it. So clearly it has protected me from, you know, breakage due to brushing. Manageability definitely made the blow dry process a lot easier and a thickness top layer that usually breaks the most, transformed the most. Also, maybe because it was the area that actually needed the treatment the most. I don't know. Even though it does provide some frizz control, it's not enough. Biggest strength is not to tame the mane, for sure. Now that said, if I knew that I wanted to get this standalone treatment done at home and then just leave with my hair wet and just let it be and air dry the rest of the day, I would definitely 100% try it with these Shea Moisture uh, Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. These provides tons of strength and this is going to give me tons of hydration and frizz control. <laughs> I have this, call me crazy, but I feel like I've taken my hair's health more in control than ever before because I am going to finally be able to use Olaplex after so many years of loving it when I highlight my hair so that it will allow this top layer to finally grow. I'm so happy I did not waste my money. I was so convinced that I was gonna say, uh -huh, just go with the number two and that is the wrap my badass angels i hope this video helped you in some way to make the right purchase decision for you or at least that it entertained you and that you enjoyed hanging out with me here today thank you so much for putting up with me as always every single product used throughout this video is going to be linked in the description box below thank you so much for your support if you decide to use my links on this or any of my other videos and remember no matter what comes your way, stay brave. You are a badass with the heart of an angel. And I will catch up with you guys again on my next one. Ciao.
Maybe can't you see 